What is up, everybody? Hey, hey, we are here live. There is a plane going off because where I live, there are tons of planes. Hi, Amicia. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, how's it going, Dallas? I'm glad you're excited. The Rojas is so glad you're here. Everybody else on Instagram. I didn't even promote this on Instagram. I just am here in a onesie, and I'm so glad you guys are. Karina, my number one fan. What's up, Danny? Hey, everybody. Whoa. Hello from New Orleans. N New Orleans. Nolans. There you go. I knew I'd get it, Luke. Nolans. What's going on? The Ewings are here. The Maces are here. The Candelarias are here. Is it weird, kids, when I say, like, your last name? out loud. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All seven of the Candelaria's here. I love them. They have a thousand kids and I love every single one of them. Um, Harper, I know you're listening, so I have to say hi, Harper. Um, I love you and I miss you. Yes, I'm in my my famous, my infamous uh, onesie ducky. Uh, little Jesse's here. That's weird. I don't know why I said that. Go Mavs. Hey, I'm so glad everyone's here. I love the interaction part. Um, the Kretsus. Uh, hi, Bridget. Jesse. Jesse, you did a great job. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Jesse's uh, devotion and prayer today, you guys go check it out. It's phenomenal. Um, oh, no. I got a hole in my onesie on the ducky. That makes me sad. I got to get new ones. Well, hey, I'm so glad you guys are joining us here on Instagram. Um, hello, I'm going to try to stage Instagram as best I can, but hey, YouTube. Now, we're going to jump in to uh, this because I know that we have um, we have kiddos that are getting ready for bed. They put their pajamas on, they brush their teeth, um, they had dinner, and so they are getting ready to wind down. Um, but who am I kidding? We're on lockdown, so the kids are going to be up till who knows how long. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but we're going to jump into this because I know that um, you guys are excited for this, and I'm excited too. Uh, quick just reminder that this Saturday at 9 a.m. Um, Pacific Coast time, West Coast time, um, we're doing breakfast time with me, and it's a devotional. So um, hopefully I'll see you guys there. But we're going to get to the main attraction. You guys came here not just for me, but you wanted to hear uh, a bedtime story, and so I'm here to give you guys one. So a lot of you guys chimed in on Instagram, and you gave a lot of suggestions. Um, some of you adults were very funny and gave me suggestions like, Harry Potter and um, Game of Thrones, but we, we're not going to read those to the kiddos. Um, we're going to read something more appropriate for the kids. And this is one of my favorite books that several of you um, suggested and wanted to hear. And so I'm going to read it today. And if you guys, kids, if you can hear me, I need you to do a round of like drum roll, please. Give me a drum roll. I know you're doing it. I can't quite hear it, but the book we are reading today is The Book with no pictures written by bj novak and for all you adults out there he was a writer on the office so it's pretty cool i'm really excited for this so we're going to be reading a book the book with no pictures and i'm, I'm really excited for this so this is going to be interactive so i'm going to be asking questions i think i think i've read this a couple of times but i want you guys to to interact let me uh Change. There we go for all my Instagram people. There we go. Book with no pictures. I, I want you guys to interact. Hello. Hi, Caleb. Oh, Makai, Makai says hi to Caleb. So Caleb, this is from Makai. He says hello. Um, we're going to read this book. So let's follow along. Oh, I love this book. Here we go. Now make sure everybody's settled in. Take a seat. Get comfy. Like do that little wiggle. The little wiggle to get comfortable. Sit in your seat, and we are going to get started. All right, here we go. Oh, my mom's on. Sorry, I have to pause. My mom logged on. Everybody say hi, party. Um, she's got her PJs on. This is like the coolest moment of my life. My mom's totally watching, and I'm geeking out, and I love my mom. And yes, kids, we just wiggle, get comfortable. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. 
except here's how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, wait, what? Okay. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Bork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Borf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Oh, uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Wait a minute, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That, that's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. And also, I'm a robot monkey. What? God, what? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading it, please? No. <sighs> okay. And now it's time for me to sing my favorite song. A song? <laughs> do I really have to read? Uh, do I really have to sing a... Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast. Right off the rug. What? 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 This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? Uh, there's more pages and I have to read the rest? Oy, oy, oy. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. What, Boo Boo Butt? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and also, the kids I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. Y'all are smart. And make silly sounds like, oh no, here it comes. Gorgawaka, magrumfadu, ay, 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 barug, 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 hum, Baggity, baggity, gibbity, gabbity, go. Glibbity, glibbity, beep boop. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Okay, that is, we did it. Thank you, BJ Novak, for this ridiculous book. Um, for all you guys who remember reading Rainbow, I just lived out my um, childhood dreams to read a book in front of millions of people at home. Um, so this, <laughs> your, your guys' comments, oh, you're so welcome. Um, I hope all of your kids are jazzed up. And this is a book that I 110% recommend. Um, if you have a friend who has a young kid, totally get this book. And kids, you should go to your parents right now and say, hey, mom, dad, mom, dad, mom, dad, I want this book, I want this book, until they say, stop it. And then the parents will be like, all right, Pastor Kellen. And then I don't know why I'm playing this out. But yes, this is a great book. Um, I love you guys. And I miss you guys so much. And I can't wait until I see all of your amazing faces again. Uh, but jo join us. Remember, join us this Sunday. Uh, or excuse me. Well, yes, Sunday for church. Be there for Sunday. You can check out the app. Download the Parent Q app. That will have all your weekly um, devotional stuff that takes place after Sunday. And go on our Our City app for all the content for Sunday for Kids. And also remember, this Saturday at 9 a.m., we're going to be doing breakfast right here in my apartment. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so check Instagram and social media to find out what we'll be doing. Um, there will be a devotional. I might make breakfast. I might do um, a dance exercise. Who knows? Um, but I love you all, and I cannot wait to talk to you guys soon. Take care.